What is going on there, citizens of the Reject Nation? We are here today to watch Cobra Kai Season 5, Episode 3 today. If you didn't catch our reactions to Episode 1 and 2, they are up here on the channel already. We're kind of just binging this right now. So, guys, leave a like. That'd be very much appreciated. Strike that subscribe button so you can get notified when our reaction for the next episode of Cobra Kai is up here on the channel. As always, full and through watch-alongs where you sync up with a time code, uh, meaning your own copy or over for our Super Sexy Rejects over at our Patreon page. Cover a bunch of shows over there exclusively with reaction highlights and watch-alongs included. Of course, Team at Prepper. Thank you guys for helping us edit down these highlights. Andrew, how you doing? I'm doing. How are you? I'm doing too. John? Doing? Yep. Andrew Grassi shirts. Got to mention that every video. Let's do this. He said he never played before. Begin Oruk. <laughs> yeah, right. I know when I've been hustled. You insult my honor. <laughs> <laughs> it's a reference to part two. He's been kicking a lot of ass lately. First round's on me, fellas. Nikki and Anusha are back. Louie, stupid. How'd you hit him? Oh, shit. I believe you two have met. Sensei Taguchi. You might have some old friends to call upon, but not as many as me. Mike Barnes. This is my backyard. I'm not the one who needs to go. You're playing with fire, Danny boy. And I am gasoline. Yeah, yeah, you are. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bought a big boom. <laughs> Served. This is so sweet. I ya no puedo. Ay, mi amor, te quiero tanto. Mexico changed you. <laughs> you should see my van. It should be illegal to deface someone else's property like that. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Juice. Oh, Miguel, vas a ver a tu novia. Sabes que te está echando de menos. Yeah, I think I need to make an apology meal for Sam, too. <laughs> Ooh. Is she pregnant? Put some of those dragon peppers in it. What'd you do? Tweak yourself on the back nine? No, couch and guest room, not good. You know, I'm sorry about that. We used to have a bed in there, but it pretty much got destroyed when Cobra Kai broke into our house. Do not worry. I will not allow them to attack home again. You can afford another bed, Daniels. <laughs> you can absolutely <laughs> afford a only owns a Only owns a car dealership. We call old friend first. Do you know any old friend of Silva? Ooh. Oh, he would contact, contact him? You just bought yourself a champion. <laughs> hey! Ah! You suck, LaRusso! I know I... Oh! There's nothing you've got that I can't counter. Your karate's a joke. Mike... Fucking barn. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard him say the F word. <laughs> this is the adult season. So many F words this season. <laughs> Most of them were in Spanish, so it doesn't count. I think I might be pregnant. How? We use protection. It's not 100%. These things can happen. Okay. Who uses protection these days? <laughs> I haven't even taken a test yet. Right, the test. All right, let's be on a stick. I mean, you'd be on a stick. I'm fine. Yeah, me too, 100%. I'll pull the van around. Okay. I'm going to Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get out of here. <laughs> Remember how he freaked out when Robbie was born? Is that Sam? She finally takes back? Yeah, says mm -hmm. she wants to uh, talk tonight. What did she say exactly? <laughs> we should talk tonight. Uh. We should talk is code for... I want to break up. What, it is? What? Not necessarily. <clears throat> Moon is really big on communication. Maybe Sam does just actually want to talk. <laughs> Can't wait to see you tonight. Um, how are you? That's good. Yeah, right? <laughs> Desperate. But cute. He knows he's in deep shit. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like things have been off lately. So much I want to say. Maybe I should just lay it all out. Nope. No, less is more. I'm with Yaz. It's better to have these conversations in person. I like how Yasmin and Dimitri are now the texters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. Should I add a smiley face or something? No! Definitely. <laughs> Devil and an angel right there on your shoulder. <sighs> Dude, that's bad. There's not even an emoji. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's emotional karate. There he is. Like, wow! 
balls. Yes. He looks great. He does not look so bad to me. Yeah, well, that guy tried to kill me once. So you don't forget or forgive something like that. So did I. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he's a sweetheart. He runs an animal rescue. What's he got there? Some sort of hand saw? Mm, good for cutting pipe. That one, good for cutting bone. <laughs> Looks like he's got some goons working for him. <laughs> Easy for me to handle. No, I don't want you getting in any more fights. He's jumping way ahead of himself. <laughs> he's running a red room on the dark web. It's just when Shannon was pregnant with Robbie, I wasn't ready. I felt useless. I don't want to be that guy again. I understand. Miguel was a surprise too, and I was scared, but now we have each other, right? Right. Learn together. <laughs> Johnny sees his oh God. Johnny sees his future. <laughs> Ever since the tournament, you've been off balance. It's clear there's been some tension with Miguel. The only thing you're gonna find in this pot is yourself. It's not so scary, right? Piggyback that pizza dough freezer. Uh, it'd be so cool to do one of those. I would love to do one of those. How about a nice pair of earrings? How much is that? The octopus? Oh. oh. Actually, it's been reduced. Reduced? Great. How much? After tax, $182. That's uh, it? Do you maybe have one with fewer tentacles? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good price, damn. Yeah. Miguel could earn that. By the time I'm finished with them, they're going to be unrecognizable. And you know, I think I know exactly how to do it. I think I'm going to start by cutting off their legs. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, those kids are in for a big surprise. Barnes, no! Listen to me, you son of a bitch. I'm not going to have you or your ponytail pin play one finger on any of our kids. Daniel LaRusso? You got that right, shithead. <laughs> <laughs> you work in a furniture store? Daniel, I own the furniture store. Saw the legs off. <laughs> <laughs> there is a lot of work to do before your little blessing arrives. Let's get to it. Watch How to Dad. Swaddle behind my with beers. <laughs> like this, gently. And just like that. Oh, shit. You'll be ready when the real one arrives. You Your like... little miracle needs a healthy, organic diet. Do the egg baby or, or a sack of flour, Johnny. Eighth grade. Make sure your space is baby friendly. You need to look in every nook and cranny for things like mold, pests, and other hazards. Ugh. Oh my god. Jesus. Ugh. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 I'm so so Dude, you're, you're inundated you're still with poison. In <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Johnny's breathes worse. You know, after the All Valley Tournament, my life was ruined. I mean, I was lost. So I found myself working odd jobs, and one day I'm moving furniture, and I meet my future father-in-law. He showed me that I could do something with these hands other than fight. I can move stuff <laughs> and saw things. Oh, my God. It's going to become, like, altered states. <laughs> I love it. I'm supposed to be figuring out who I am. What do you mean? You're LaRusso 2.0. Sam, you're one of the girls. Mm. You're the girl who broke my heart. The girl who lost. You're my girlfriend, Sam. Why can't you just be supportive? They're gonna start dripping blood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quick flashes of satanic imagery. <laughs> I know exactly who you are, princess. Tori? Dark side, Sam. Drippy. Wicked. Oh my gosh, I had the most incredible vision. 
Is there anything you could tell me that might bring this guy down? I need something. I, I, mean, I haven't even seen him in years. I, I just don't know what I could do to help. Oh my God, he's working with him. Please <laughs> say it ain't so. <laughs> Exactly what I don't want right now. Yeah. Oh no! They saw no mercy. No. We saw them no mercy. Yeah. Oh, oh no. What the? Fuck? <laughs> what the shit? What is happening? Maybe Ooh. Chosen's right. It's kind of crazy we're watching these two fight each other. Guys, stop! Oh, yeah. ah. <laughs> <laughs> Chosen, he didn't attack me. He's on the same side. Wait a minute, this guy's with you? What the hell, Daniel? This is just a giant misunderstanding. If this is misunderstanding, you better call ambulance. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Christ. <laughs> what? That's hilarious. Don't get on Chosen's bad side. That's hilarious. I love it. That's <laughs> <laughs> so funny. I think Sam and I are having some issues. And honestly, I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to say. How about the truth? Wait, he made you sign a contract? I made them put it in writing. The guy did promise me 50% of Cobra Kai. You tell me you still have it. Daniel, no way. I mean, I see you liking that tufted blue suede. <laughs> yeah. Better than the couch he's sleeping on. Regard to a former client of yours, Terry Silver. This is very urgent. Please give me a call back ASAP when you get this message. Thank you. I wouldn't name the guy on the voice, man. <laughs> They're loading the couch after you beat their ass. Don't get blood on the couch. Don't get blood on the couch. <laughs> Those poor guys are just working a hard day, man. <laughs> they got beat up and went back to work. <laughs> Look, Sam, I owe you an apology. You don't need to explain. I really respect you for taking the time that you needed to find yourself. Oh. But I need that time, too. I need a little break to figure out who I am outside of all that. When you say break, what do you... What do you mean? He's on and off again, shit, man. We were on a break! I want what's best for you always. You know that. That's hard. Look, it doesn't mean that we can't be friends, right? I promise. Of course. You're a nice guy, Miguel. Call me whenever, okay? Yeah. This poor kid. Oh man, that that is not a fun walk. <laughs> oh, he ended up buying it too. Oh. Ooh. Just go on a sleeping spree, Miguel. <laughs> this morning, I didn't think I could be one of those lame dads with the baby carrier and the diapers and all that crap. <laughs> but if it means I'm doing it with you, I'll do whatever it takes. Having a baby. Oh. <laughs> Badass. <laughs> <laughs> My dude. Hi, I'm calling in regard to a former client of yours, Terry Silver. This is very urgent. Please give me a call back ASAP when you get this message. Thank you. Nice. Yep. You and I are going to be seeing a lot more of each other. First, I'm going to deal with my old friend. And then I'll deal with you. Oof. Oh, man, he took his shirt off and everything. Real power for move. that moment. <laughs> <laughs> they put it right back on when he took that off. Oh, no, he burned his oh, business. Oh, shit. Oh, what? No. Oh, wow. That is awful. Oh, wow. I 
mean? He had it coming. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, the scales are balanced. <laughs> God. All right. Wow. All right, Andrew, take it away. Take it away, Ern. Uh, that was a very interesting episode. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I think the thing that's uh, really drawing my interest uh, most, which I wasn't expecting, is Samantha's journey. I really like the the whole identity crisis. It's very compelling to me. Uh, just finding out who she is and what she's going through, just through all the seasons, what she's been through. And it's I, like I said, it's very compelling. It's interesting. And she's a very good actress. She's got a very good range. And I'm glad that's on display here. And again, seeing her relationship with Miguel, uh, you know, with what, what happened in season four and then what it's come to here, it just it is very sad and traumatic with what uh, what just occurred. So uh, I was really uh, like I said, it was very emotional and I uh, love both those actors. They have such good on on screen chemistry. They're so good together. Uh, I love love that we got uh, the actor Sean Kane and back who plays Mike Barnes. That's awesome. Uh, I, I mean, I, everyone knows I'm a huge fan of. Karate Kid Part 3, even though I uh, always consider that the weakest part of the, the trilogy of the Miyagi-verse. But uh, I love seeing that guy back. Uh, again, Him and da- uh, seeing him and Daniel uh, interact together was great. Seeing that he has a furniture store was not what I was <laughs> expecting to see, but that was cool to see. Um, but, yeah, he's got a really good on-screen presence, and uh, I love seeing him back again. And, I mean, yeah, you just don't uh, don't mess with Terry Silver is the uh, message I got from this episode. And Thomas Ian Griffith, even though the limited that's why he's such a good actor, the limited screen time, you always feel his presence there. And he's just fantastic. And I'm just really interested and fascinated to see what else happens throughout the rest of the season. And really quickly, we'll get to the Easter eggs Uh, at the beginning of the episode. We saw that. Uh, Chosen said, you insult my intelligence to Daniel's cousins. He said that uh, to Daniel in part two. He said, you insult my intelligence again and I'll kill you after Daniel messed up his little scam that he was doing. Uh, Then we got uh, Mike Barnes saying, I want 50%. That was a reference to Karate Kid part three where he wanted 50% of the dojos from Terry Silver. Uh, we also got the uh, octopus necklace. That was uh, obviously a reference to season one. With uh, they bought the, they got the stuffed toy from Golf and Stuff, which is in Ventura County. They got the octopus. And, uh, so yeah, probably missing some other ones, but those are the ones that came to mind. It's impressive. Yeah, yeah buddy. Decent. You know your karate kids. Impressive. Yeah. Cool. John, why, why don't you go second today? I don't like. I don't like what you're doing. <laughs> Playing head games now. <laughs> <laughs> Learning from Terry Silver. <laughs> give, him, give him tennis happening right here. Uh, yeah. yeah, what are you going to do? You got an opinion? You got an opinion ready to go? I can go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got but it. I feel like, yeah, I would like to hear your thoughts. Um, I, I think the heart of this show is so strong, and it's such a sweet, tender show every every time we check back in with cobra kai rem- because it was i was talking with someone the other day before this came out who hadn't watched cobra kai and i was trying to like i hadn't revisited cobra kai i was trying to tell them why cobra kai is so great and i just i felt like anything i was saying just wasn't enough because <laughs> it, it's so hard to like summarize it and because it's like this show, I was like, no, you got to understand, it's life. Cobra Kai's <laughs> life. That's I'm sort of saying that over and over. That's true. I'm like, I feel like my point's not getting communicated. <laughs> um, and like, you get an episode like this with the pregnant, with the whole thing with being pregnant and facing the fears of becoming a father, and then the themes of having to better yourself. Like, there's so much nurturing with these with these characters you really care about who go through such difficult experiences and then wanting to do their best at the same time. And like, there's so many different storylines happening here and they're all so enjoyable in their own ways. Like Samantha having to confront herself and doing some experiment, like it's not an experiment, like we've seen crazier shit than that, obviously. But, but experiment. But for for Karate Kid, that's freaking that's random. Like we've never seen something like that. Where you're diving into the subconscious of the mind and having to confront your inner demons and the things that you have or are haunted by that you haven't overcome, coming face to face with yourself. That oh my god, it's not Tori, it's myself that I'm I'm battling really. She's just a representation of a, something deeper within me, and I liked her. I liked what she was t- telling Miguel of why they couldn't be together, and then knowing that Miguel's like experiencing this hurt and anger underneath it all. I mean, especially with the 
freaking merry-go-round him and Samantha have been on this whole time, but, you know, she does have to work on herself. It's a very... Everyone in L.A., it's what they're all doing. Everyone in L.A. is just always working on themselves. Very valley, very valley. You alone. It's a very valley, valley thing to say. Very valley to work on yourself and very valley to run a furniture store. No, it's not. It's more universal than that. Um, so, yeah, I think, uh, and man, I, you know, Zola Mar- 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 Manequin. Or <laughs> just say Blue Beetle. Uh, Nailed it. Uh, whatever his name is. If, is, is, like I said last last episode, what what he's doing here, I'm like, yeah, you're you're bringing it back to where he's like the star of the show. He's so good, he's so freaking good, and I I feel like his acting is better than ever. And also, you know, bringing back Mike Barnes reminded me of what this show has also done so well, which is if you watch those like original Karate Kid movies, I'm about to say something that might upset some people. If you watch those original Karate Kid movies, they're they're very you know there's a lot of cheese in there, especially with the acting, obviously like Terry Silver. And Dude, he was on cocaine. There's, Mike, there's Mike, some hamminess Mike to Barnes, be found. Even yeah. chosen to a, a certain extent, and then J- Johnny Lawrence. Not I don't I don't recall him being that cheesy, but you bring them back into the show, and then you're like, man, they just, they were, were they always this good? <laughs> are yeah. they always this good of actors? They're all they're all like great actors, but that. That level of of talent just wasn't as felt in those original experiences for me with yeah. a lot of these characters, like outside of Ralph Macchio. So you bring him here, and you're like, ah, oh, he's great, he's fantastic. And even this show does such a good job making goes like, is he? This is all a big part of Terry Silver's ploy. Is he? Is he just messing with him? Did he really follow the good path of Terry Silver? Already getting contact with him. It's a uh, it's strong, strong, suitable shit, man. So. Yeah, I think everything they're doing here is is great, and uh, I don't know. I thought the chosen, like early in the first episode with the chosen with the size, I thought, okay, so is this going to be the reoccurring joke? Yeah, that that there's a there's a cultural and language barrier. You know, he's gonna and he's always gonna have random weapons to make his random weapon and become violent. Yeah. But I actually thought what they did here was. It was really funny <laughs> when he beat up everyone. And they, like that you didn't see it. <laughs> yeah. He just went ahead and did it. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's something there. I was uh, this episode easily had the wildest oscillation of tones, and that bordered and it, and it didn't cross the line for me. But it did border on getting like a little too big and a little too wacky because I kept being like, man, at any point, Mike could just snap and be like i'm suing the both of you. yeah <laughs> but yeah there's something like the way they drew that mystery where we i think they're really good at giving you just enough to know that yeah okay if you're really paying attention you can kind of tell that the perspective we're in with danny and chosen is not correct but they still managed to ring all the fun and all of the sort of well maybe they are right you know like there's enough yeah. sort of peripheral mystery to drive that tension but also drive the fun and I feel like another thing this show is is really good at doing, aside from really honing in on the heart and really kind of honoring everything that came before it, is also just recognizing how the, the, the range of tonality that the original Karate Kid movies had because there is a lot of heart. But Karate Kid 3 has, like, cocaine sprinkled all over it. And I thought they brought some of that coked-out quality to this, but in a way that felt appropriate and that gives you these exciting left turns where, yeah, now we are on a vision quest in a in a whatever they call the pods now instead of sensory deprivation and 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 two yeah like you said it is life it's like you could swap karate out especially in sam's story for any number of other things that overtake your life in high school and sort of co-opt your identity and and two seeing the kind of intersection she's at that we're all at in our own lives with different people of this is what you are to me you're the person who broke my heart you're my protege who has to live up to me like there's so many great threads and they, to me, never feel too ham-fisted or too like, I get it, you didn't need to put it in the dialogue, you know. Mm-hmm. And this season, too, seems like the most mature because the it doesn't feel uh, bogged down by being like, well, we have to do dojo stuff. We have to do, you know, see every character of the ensemble in every episode. It, it feels more natural while it also seems to be taking more swings in terms of tone and trying out fun things and, and yeah, giving the characters, like, real life to deal with, so... I also love, too, where they showed that scene with Johnny and Miguel where Johnny's giving him the advice about Samantha. I think because Johnny, you guys mentioned, you know, the heart of the episode and also Johnny just, like, you know, changing himself to be a good father. But Johnny, I think Johnny realized, like, he's already, he is a good father to Miguel. 
You know, the, yeah. the way he be, uh, his interactions with Miguel, how he's been just guiding him the last, well, I mean, I know the show's more like, we're in season five, but it's been only a couple years in the in the uh, in the show's universe, but he's he's been a father to Miguel. You know, he's been that that mentor. So I mean, I, I love that realization by Giant. Like, hey, I, I actually I am ready for this. I am a good father. Mm. You know, Miguel is he's basically my son. So that was I thought that was a great scene. Uh, one last thing, I don't know if I would call this a uh, Easter egg or reference, but when uh, she was in that deprivation thing or whatever, and she saw Yasmin and Moon in the Laker. Uh, girl jerseys that was from season one episode three i think it was called Escuito. i think the episode was called Escalito. 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 Yeah. there you go um well, yeah i just rewatched the show <laughs> twice so uh, they were wearing the laker girl uh, jerseys for the uh, the halloween dance so yeah wow one well, and did anybody notice i feel like when she's squaring off against herself in the head-on shots it's the actress who plays sam but in the profile shots it looked like it actually was the actress who played tori in the That'd be interesting. We I, have to. Well, when I rewatch that, I'm gonna look for that. Seemed like an interesting visual language choice. Yeah, I was getting some double impact, you know, John John Claude yeah. Van Damme vibes there, where he's fighting fighting his twin. But yeah, it was me. Yeah. You're like what? <laughs> 1991, Sheldon Latish. John, I know you didn't John ask, Hill? but I still wanted to say it. <laughs> yes. Watch that movie, Double Impact. He's fought a lot of twins. <laughs> Jean Claude Van Damme. <laughs> Top ten He's best. Fought duplicates of himself, <laughs> twins of himself. He's done it at least three times. Mm. I think there's one movie called Replicas. A replicant. It was like straight to DVD. Ah, I must have. I could it. read your mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's here in They're the room. They're twins. <laughs> oh yeah. Like real time. One's bad. Yeah, one's His long hair have to, to define how he's I bad. I will have to check that one out. <laughs> Replicas? I don't remember. Anyway. All right, guys. Thanks for being here. We're going to watch the next one. Patreon of the Day shout out. Pandemic Jones. What's his real name, John? Paul. PJ Paul. Well, we have looked up Paul on UrbanDictionary.com. Check this out. Ooh. This term is usually used for guys that mean a lot to you. Pandemic Jones does mean a lot to me. Means the most to me. I think about him way too often, to the point where it gets perverted. This guy particularly is a keeper. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, yeah. I just keep him there, and I throw away the key and feed him food through a little small sliding square door. He has amazing features. Mm. Yes, he does. He has a six pack, but only on one side of his body. <laughs> An amazing voice. Very high pitched, but very deep at the same time. Make you cry. I've never heard such a thing. Shatter a mirror. It hurts, but it's soothing. It's and so an good. absolutely loving personality. So true. Both Republican and Democrat. The best of both worlds. Well rounded. He knows Moderate. how to make you smile just by saying a few words. The other day, Paul messaged us and was like, hey, all of a sudden, I just smiled till I started to bleed from my cheeks. The reconstructive surgery to get my face back to what it is now was worth it. Oh, dude. Just to hear from you. The constant level of pain we both exist in, you know, resisting the urge to smile because of you is, is a sacrifice that we are happy to make. People. And sometimes this term is also used for guys with big private areas. Oh, yeah, that's a given. Oh, dude, yeah, that's the down. biggest private area. Oh, definitely. All, yeah, all, yeah. Private areas put everyone to shame. Gargantuan. It's simultaneously massive and also cylinder. <laughs> it's a perfect cylinder. <laughs> Never seen anything quite like it. Geometrically you. perfect. Yeah, it fits per, like, if it's a kid were playing smooth. with blocks, they would get confused. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no, totally. Don't, don't, don't whip it out when you're playing with blocks. Especially in front of children. Yes, well, they could learn. <laughs> they, yeah, they, they'll they'll have something to aspire to. Thanks, thanks. Love you, bud. Pandemic.